What's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to use PlayStation 4's Share Factory to make a pretty decent video for yourself if you want to start uploading to YouTube or if you're already an uploader and you're curious about this. This is the way to do it. I'm going to cut out all the junk that PlayStation 4 wants you to add in there with their little effects that no one wants to see. You'll have a pretty decent video out of this and first thing you need is a YouTube channel so I'm in the Share Factory on the controller I'm hitting the Share button. You want to um, be able to upload this to, directly to YouTube when you're done. So if you haven't already synced them together, you're going to hit Options. And where it says Share Settings, I'm hitting X. All right, now I'm coming down to Link with Other Services. And this is where you can link with all your stuff, such as YouTube. And you'd have all your information set up already so that you can sync your PlayStation and YouTube together right here. As you can see, I'm already linked together. And this is just going to confirm it. I'm hitting OK. And now I'm going to cancel out all these menus until I get back to my Share Factory program. So, all right, we're going to start a new project. Now you must choose a theme. Now this is going to be your title screen. If you do have a title for your video, you'll want to select your theme here. I'm just going to use this generic PlayStation 4 one. Now this is where you're going to find your footage. This is the War, War Thunder footage I want. I'm hitting X. All right. You can uncheck things in here, but uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, just, we'll just delete them in the video. So I'm all set. Now to start the project, I'm hitting the square button. And let's rename it. Let's call it uh, Planes. All right. R2, I'm done. Continue, I'm hitting X. So this is your video and all the things they want you, uh, they start you off with. So. No one on YouTube wants to watch this thing, really, right? So you're going to delete that. First, you hit square with the wrench down the bottom. Square brings up your uh, features here. I'm going to delete this clip. Hit X. Confirm it by hitting X. Now, here's your title screen. Say you want a title screen. You hit your square here. Now you go to edit effects. And that's, uh, I'm hitting square to toggle between them. Say I want to um, change the color here. I'm hitting X to edit it. So I want the color to be green like zombies. I'm hitting that. Now I'm hitting the circle to back out to here. I can toggle around. You can move them and things like that. Feel, feel free to play around with them. I don't like it. I'm going to actually delete mine. But nobody's going to click off your video because you've got a, a title screen here. I just don't like them. So I'm going to delete the clip. All right, so now here's the footage I don't want. I'm going to begin editing uh, my War Thunder gameplay to make a pretty decent YouTube video. Now... This um, share factory, it has all these little goofy animations and things like no one no one on YouTube wants to see all that stuff overlaid. I'm trying to show you how to make a good video so you don't look like a, a little kid, uh, right? So if I'm finding where I want to start. I know it's around, like, it's around here. So I'm using my right joystick here to toggle where I'd like to start. Uh, I'm using my right arrow on the D-pad now to fine tune it. I want to do it right before I turn. So let's say right here. Okay. So your wrench on the bottom, the square, I'm hitting that. I'm going to see on the left here, split clip. There's a trim clip, but it's, um, when you have a long video, it's harder to use. It's much easier to split a clip. So I'm going to split it. And now my, uh, as you can see, my timer is highlighted in red with a red X button. I'm hitting X. I'm hitting X to confirm it. This is all the junk that we don't want to show everybody. So see the trash can is a square. I'm hitting the square. I'm going to delete that. All right, so this is the beginning of my video. All right, now where do I want to stop this first clip? Too far. Okay, let's say I'm going to backspace a little bit to here, around three seconds. Okay. I'm going to hit X. I'm still in the split clip feature, right? I'm going to hit X. Split clip, yes. I'm going to hit X to confirm it. Now here's all the, the garbage footage that we don't want in our video. You don't want to have um, scenes of yourself standing around for too long, things like that, because if you don't keep people entertained, they're going to click off your video. All right. I want to come here around like my first loop. All right. Maybe get that little explosion in there. Okay. So you can view the airfield and where it says uh, about retract gear. So how about right here? Okay. I'm going to hit X. Hit X to split it, to confirm it. I'm backing over this junk that I don't want. Okay. Trash can is square. Delete the clip. Yes. All right. Another tip. You don't want to have like one video jump into the next so you can add transition. So I'm going to hit the circle to get back to, I see my plus sign with the X on the bottom. Now I'm going to hit X because that brings up your add menu. 
All right, I'm going to add a transition. There's different things you can do, like uh, this will, you know, overlay one video with one clip onto the other, etc. So I'm going to use this one here, which is black, which I like the most. There's wipes and things you can feel free to play around with them, but I like the basic fade through black. All right, now where would I like to end this video? Let's see. Uh, back up. How about I'll let a little bit of this guy here that shot me down play? Okay, so let's say I'm gonna finish it right here. So remember the wrench. I'm hitting the square. I'm going to split my clip X X right here. X to confirm it. Here's all the junk at the end that we're not gonna have in our video. I'm going to delete that. The trash can is a square again. And now here's some more junk that no one wants to see. But it's at the end of your video, so it's really not that big of a deal, but I'm going to get rid of this. And since this is a share factory tutorial, I'll leave their little logo here at the end. All right, now remember how long it is. So I have uh, two minutes and three seconds. So I want to add some music. I'm hitting my top L button, my L1, to get back to the beginning. And remember where your uh, slider is, that's where it's going to start. So I want to add music. I'm back out, make sure I have my add menu up here with the uh, plus sign in the bottom. I'm hitting X, going to add music. You can add commentary, but I don't want to do that in this video. I'm just going to add some music. Now here's your basic PlayStation music. Now remember, if you're just starting a YouTube channel or if you have one, if you ever want to get monetized, you can uh, preview these with R2. If you ever want to be monetized, you don't want copyright infringements and warnings, stuff like that. So you want to um, use music that you can get away with, like that's royalty free. And you like, I actually buy some of the songs on my, my videos now because it's pretty cool. But I'm selecting that video there. It's it's pretty cool, like actually have the rights to use a song, you know. You can get them for like 15 bucks. But um, use music that's not going to be a copyright issue for you. So I'm using this PlayStation one here, all right. And uh, you don't want to just jump in to the music. So we're going to have a little bit of a fade in. Say about half a second. Now, you know, let's make it a full second for a fade in. I remember I said two minutes and three seconds, right? Because this song is like seven minutes long. So it's going to just play for seven minutes. So what you need to do, remember that two minutes and three seconds, okay? I'm going to hit the square. And I'm going to trim the music. Okay, now I'm using my right joystick. I want to come back to two minutes and three seconds. So when I see it right there, all right, two minutes and three seconds. Now, say you don't want that um, intro, you just want the song to jump in right in the action part of your music. Uh, I'll start mine right here. All right, so I'm I'm gonna uh, now I'm gonna start at ten seconds. If I can get over here. All right. So now I need to add 10 seconds on the end. So I need it to be 2 minutes and 13 seconds. All right, I'm hitting X to confirm it. That's the trim for the music I want to overlay my video. All right, so as you can see, I actually... Oh, you know what? I have to trim that a little bit more. Trim music. All right. And I'm going to find trim it. You're, you'll probably be better at this than I am. Okay. Do it right there. Good. That's where the music will end. And now I'm going to add a little bit of a fade out. The worst thing you want is, is just for it to end abruptly with no fade out. And we'll fade out, let's say, one second. All right. I'm hitting my L1 here to get back to the beginning. You might want to scroll through, make sure I know I have that transition, make sure everything looks good. Right? Here's the end. All right, now if you want to preview it, I'm hitting my L2 to bring up the, I need a circle to get back, L2. That is a full screen preview. I'm hitting the right button. I want to hear my music kick in here. I want to hear the volume of it. All right, I think it might be a little too loud. So I just want to edit that real quick. I'm going to back to edit music here and Square, where is the volume? Here it is. Let's bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna make it 45%, which I did on a previous video, which worked out all right. So I'm hitting X to confirm that. That is the last thing I needed to do. All right, now say before you upload to YouTube, you wanna add like a watermark or, or your name somewhere in here so people know it's you or like a copyright thing for your gameplay. 
So wherever your timer is, so I'm gonna set my at the beginning. Your add with the X, you do add effects. And you see these are all those like dumb stickers and things that they think are cool, which I mean, you might use add or fail or owned or something, you know, but basically it's all stuff that uh, is pretty cheesy looking. There's some theme stickers, filters, which actually would come in handy, that, like black and white, stuff like that. Layouts, if you want to change your aspect. I mean, you, you could get into that and do some uh, cool video effects, right? But I'm just going to go to add effects to my text. And let's say I wanted to add some like zombie looking type. Okay, here, I can go up top, you see it? All right, our tomb done. You can change the color like green for zombies or move it around, whatever. And after I hit the circle to back, back out of there, you can see it plays that whole clip, but you'd have to add it again for any successive clip that uh, you might want to show your little name or, or text, you know? You can place them around too if you wanted to be a little creative and label people or characters or stuff, you know, but uh, that is basically how the text tool works. Uh, I don't want mine here, so I'm gonna hit the square. I'm going to edit effects, and this is how you even remove the things, like if you had a black and white filter on top. All right, my text is highlighted there. All right, X to edit it, and I'm just gonna delete it. Confirm to delete text. Confirm. All right, so guys, I think we're all set. And you're ready to upload to YouTube, right? All right, so let me hit uh, circle, and I like to save it first. All right, so uh, I'm going to save project. Project saved. All right, and uh, I used uh, options. That's my options button to get there, sorry. All right, so I'm uh, hit options again, and export to gallery. All right, so here we go. I'll just uh, pause it here in a second, but basically you're gonna watch this video export itself to your um, gallery. And that's where we're gonna, after this happens, that's when we get to select the option to upload to YouTube. So we'll check back here in a second. All right, so we're back here. It's about at 99%, 98, 99, 100. All right, so you get this little message here. So, uh, movie has now been saved to your capture gallery and press the share button on your controller if you wish to share your movie so I'm gonna do that now hit the share button okay now you just wait a second once this pops up uh, I don't use Facebook much for anything so of course YouTube is what I'm all about I'm hitting X and now we do all this stuff. You don't worry about trim. Trimming is like if we never edited it, like with all the transitions to make a, a pro looking movie. So you can preview it if you need to. Right here, I'm going to make my title. Uh, just real quick, I'll go back and edit it later, but I'll call it War of Thunder Noob. Uh, landing landings all right thanks for putting up with my uh, slow typing skills so I always R2 I always like to have at least a little description I'll go back and on my channel edit it later but I'll just put like GG good game for right now I'll edit that later all right I'm done with that cool public of course check everything out you want to have I'll edit my tags on there Include my online ID. Now it's up to you if you do that or not. Uh, post a link. Sure, why not? My comment. I'm just going to write. Um, new blends at airport. Alright guys, so. Uh, basically once this video is done, I hope it helps you out and you get to. You'll get into some cool editing features, especially if you're just starting out. I mean, it's a really cool thing to watch those views uh, turn up on your videos. I remember when I just get, like, in the 30s, how cool that was. So, all right, if you can see there, it's added to my uploads in the top left corner. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope that this uh, helped you out, gave you a good look at what the PlayStation 4 can do for you. Uh, I'd say it's about as good as Movie Maker, so other than just a... Um, 
I really like to have a little bit more control of my type and the, the size of it. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty good deal it got and hope you use it. Give me a like if I helped you out. Sorry it's a long video, but I tried to make it as short as possible. Uh, feel free to share it with other people that might be getting into this uploading stuff, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.